an effective way to protect user accounts against threats like phishing attacks and account takeovers is to require more than just a username and password. Controlling access with multiple different types of authentication factors makes it much harder for a bad actor to access your org. This is called multi-factor authentication or MFA for short. A familiar example of MFA at work is the two factors needed to withdraw money from your bank account. Your bank card is something you have, and your PIN is something you know. With MFA, users are required to prove that they are who they claim to be by providing two or more pieces of evidence or factors when they log in. One factor is something a user knows, such as their username and password. Another factor involves a verification method that a user has in their possession, such as an authenticator app or a universal second factor security key. Universal second factor is also called U2F. MFA is first enabled through permissions or profile settings. Then users register methods for MFA through their own personal settings we recommend registering more than one method. Salesforce requires all internal users who log in through the user interface to use MFA for every login. This includes accessing specific features, such as reports or a connected app. A connected app enables an external application to integrate with Salesforce using APIs. MFA will not be required for API or integration logins. However, to set up API connections and integrations, admins do need to log in with MFA. Salesforce products include MFA functionality at no extra cost. Another way to make your org more secure and customize login is to enable My Domain. My Domain lets you choose a customer-specific name to include in your Salesforce org URLs. For example, nto.my.salesforce.com. With My Domain, you can highlight your business identity with your unique URL, and you can brand your login page, even customizing content on the right side of the login page. Using My Domain isn't just about convenience and branding. It actually gives you more control over the login process and authentication. In fact, my domain is required in other scenarios. It's needed if you're going to work with multiple Salesforce orgs in the same browser at the same time. You need my domain to set a custom login policy to determine how users are authenticated. And last, my domain is necessary if you're going to allow users to log in through a social account like Google or Facebook. Another option for easier login is single sign-on or SSO. SSO is an authentication method that enables users to access multiple applications with one login and one set of credentials. With SSO, you spend less time managing passwords because users don't need to log into each system separately. And you can manage access to sensitive information from one place. If your SSO system uses MFA, it's not necessary to enable Salesforce's MFA for users who access Salesforce products solely through SSO. To sum up, there are different authentication methods to consider. Work with stakeholders to determine the best option for business needs while aligning with Salesforce's requirements.